Okay, so uh, let's talk some business now. Let's now start to talk uh, or rather walk towards how forwarding works inside or through the fabric. Let me remove this a little over this side. Now, uh, ACI topology could be called as a MPLS based VPN network where the ISIS is used in the overlay, uh, LSP for the VXLAN tunneling, and VRF for the virtual routing forwarding uh, for private networking uh, among the tenants or inside a tenant. For routes coming in from outside, MPBGP is what is used in ACI. This all are not purely MPLS, but uh, but rather an analogy for the same. So inside ACI, the concept of conversational learning is used. For more details about uh, this conversational learning thing, please go through the fabric part technology uh, for Cisco Nexus 7K devices. Uh, this is not under my plan yet, but I'm planning to uh, create a session for the same uh, because uh, I would personally like to advise that to have a better and quicker understanding on how things work inside ACI, you should have good knowledge about the VXN and the fabric part technology. So I'm, I'm planning to, to uh, make some sessions on that. Uh, do watch them and uh, share your valuable feedback. Okay, so in this slide, uh, let's understand a very basic L2 uh, packet flow through the fabric. Now, let's say, uh, let's say we need to communicate from uh, endpoint A, which is connecting to leaf 1, to endpoint B, which is connecting on leaf 3. So, when the packet, uh, when the packet uh, hits leaf 1, it is encapsulated in a VXLAN header with a, with a VXLAN source ID and VXLAN destination ID. Now, this destination, uh, now this uh, VXLAN encapsulation uh, packet, when it reaches the destination leaf, it is de-encapsulated uh, de again and it becomes the L2 packet and it hits its destination. So this information, uh, okay, on this same uh, same slide, let me let me include uh, some more information that we talked about in uh, one of our previous videos. So if you remember, I, I talked about uh, something called uh, Broadcom MESIC and uh, North Star. So I'll I'll tell you what basically that is. So let's say for example this leaf here, okay? So this leaf is. Uh, there is a portion which is connecting to the endpoint and there is another portion which is connecting to the spines so inside it there is a chip or, or you can say a card which uh, which handles uh, everything related to uh, you know local switching let's say for example if there is an endpoint connected as here the EPA and there is another endpoint connected on the same leaf uh, under the same bridge domain so that local traffic switching will be handled by that chip which is here so that chip is basically what is that called that is called the Broadcom ASIC okay now at the, the inside this switch there is uh, Another chip which if the data is not for local destination and it needs to traverse through the spine or it needs to travel through the, uh, through the spine to another leaf then this chip comes into play and uh, this one here it's, it's called uh, the 
no star, no star, no star ASIC. So these two ASIC form the uh, let's say further they form the local station table LST and North Star forms the global I'm sorry global station table or the GST so based on uh, based on this okay I'm, I'm uh, having some struggle with that so I hope you saw that okay so based on that uh, the if the packet is to be locally switched if the destination packet is known locally uh, its address would be stored on the LST and if the packet is to be switched through the spine its destination uh, address information would be stored in the GST the global station table all right okay let's move ahead now so um, okay in this slide uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm including the very basic understanding components which are used in ACI for packet forwarding uh, most of the terms have been discussed before uh, the only new terms uh, one of them are the pervasive gateway which we could configure uh, where we where we could configure a default gateway for the directly attached uh, endpoints then uh, is the COOP it's the uh, I don't remember its full full form I think it's Council of Oracle protocols or something like that yeah so I'm not I'm not sure please please uh, try to find it and let me know as well just mention uh, in the in the um, in the in the remarks below this video so this COOP table which lies on each of the spines they contain the all all the information about the uh, MAC and the IP addresses which are connecting to all the leaves and uh, this is from where uh, spines would realize where the destination is going to be and then comes the spine proxy this is the next stop for uh, for the leaf switch if it does not know where the destination for the packet is uh, okay so uh, I won't say much about the slide uh, I would like you to pause the video and try to understand it yourself it's more or less uh, same things which I have told you before so it's a simple explanation but if in case you do not understand anything just write in the comments below and I'll, I'll help you elaborate it these are the snippets or the snapshots from uh, the EPG section from ACI when you would go under a tenant and uh, further under the application profile application EPGs and then onto the EPGs you would find uh, windows something like this the first one and the second one okay so here we can uh, see uh, the MAC addresses are being learned for the endpoints which are directly connecting uh, let's say this is the MAC A1 IP A1 and this is right here this one is right here okay so uh, EPG1 is the MAC A IP A1 these are as we can see they are uh, coming in from node 101 interface 1 slash 11 over VLAN 753 and this second endpoint is coming in from node 101 Ethernet interface 1 slash 1 over VLAN 754 okay so this is how uh, things are checked and understood in the ACI further below this show endpoint details this gives more or less the same information that we checked in the video above these are the platform independent VLANs again these are the NCAP VLANs which are configured on the machines the MAC address and the IP address of the end host their interfaces and their endpoint group this TK is the tenant 
APP1 is the application profile then further into EPG okay so that's all uh, about the basic uh, understanding about the ACI packet flow we'll get into deeper as we proceed further with the videos